Hey guys, it's me, Michael Gibbons. It's been a while. Uh, and we're here to react to Spider-Man Far From Home official trailer. Now, um, I don't know how much it's going to give away, but, um, obviously this takes place after Endgame, which I've seen. Um, I'm not sure if I'll make a video, like, giving my opinions on it. Um, actually, I think I will. If it does give off some stuff that relates to Endgame, which it probably will. So, um, I'll give that. And I'll make sure to say spoilers in case anyone who hasn't seen it don't know how you haven't yet. But, um, let's get in on it. Eh. Spider-Man Far From Home trailer is about to play. But if you haven't seen Avengers Endgame yet, stop watching because there's some serious spoilers about to come up. Oh, but if you have seen thanks. Avengers Endgame, enjoy the trailer. Thanks for putting it out. Everywhere I go, I see his face. I just really miss him. Yeah, I miss him too. I don't think Tony would have done what he did if he didn't know that you were going to be here after he was gone. <laughs> You gonna be the next Iron Man now? Well, no, I don't have time. I'm too busy doing your jobs. Oh. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Look, keep up the good work because I am going on vacation. <laughs> Heads up, Nick Fury's calling you. I don't really want to talk to Nick Answer Fury. Phone. Why? Because if you don't talk to him, then I have to talk to him. I don't want to talk to him. You sent Nick Fury to voicemail? I gotta go. You do not ghost Nick Fury. What up, dorks? What's up? We're just talking about the trip. I'm here in St. Marco Polo's. Oh, I think MJ really likes me. That reminds me when I first fell in love. You're a very difficult person to contact, Spider-Man. This is Mr. Beck. Who could have used someone like you on my world? Your world? Beck is from Earth, just not ours. The snap to our hole in our dimension. You're saying there's a multiverse? We have a job to do. And you're coming with us. There's got to be someone else you can use. What about Thor? Off-world. Captain Marvel. Unavailable. But I'm just a friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Bitch, please. You've been to space. What do you want, Peter? I want to go back on my trip with the girl who I really like and tell her how I feel. MJ, I am Spider-Man. What? No, of course I'm not. I mean, it's... Kind of obvious. What? <laughs> right, you may not be ready, but this is my responsibility. <laughs> Saving the world requires sacrifice. Sometimes people die. Oh my god. I just always feel like I'm putting my friends in danger. The world needs the next Iron Man. Are you going to step up or not? Spider-Man. You work for Spider-Man? I work with Spider-Man, not for Spider-Man. New plan. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Wow. Mm. I like that. I like that very much. Mm-hmm. God. You know, the first Spider-Man, Spider-Man Homecoming, I didn't go to see in theaters because though it was good. I guess it was because the new actor I was still trying to get used to. So I didn't go see it in theaters. But this one, I think I just might. This one, I think I just might. This one was pretty good. Really good. Yeah, I mean, um, after Endgame, you know, they're going to be putting out... Um, um, I don't know where they're going to go with it. Um, A lot of... Movies, they're a lot of the characters are kind of, um, you know, finish their roles, so we're probably not gonna see them at least not soon. But the ones that we are, like Spider Man, Guardians of the Galaxy, I heard they're making a Guardians of the Galaxy 3. That one I'm looking forward to because. There are a few things that I want to see fixed. 
So, like I said, I'm going to be bringing up stuff from Endgame. Now, if you haven't seen it, well, you already just stated that. One of the biggest spoilers. I don't know if you're still here, but uh, yeah. So, spoiler, spoiler alert. Iron Man dies in Endgame. And, um, but one of the things that relates with Guardians of the Galaxy is, as you know, in Infinity War, I have allergies, I'm sorry. In Infinity War, Gamora dies. He's, she's killed by uh, Thanos to get the Soul Stone. And we never see her. Now, what I was hoping was that she would come, that they would bring her back, just like they brought back everyone else. And um, that wasn't really what happened because the same thing happened the same scenario happened but with um again spoiler alert with black widow and hawkeye or as ronan as he's now called black widow dies in order to get the soul stone in order for the avengers to get the soul stone but when they make the snap they can't batteries they can't bring her back um because bruce as professor hulk he's the one that made the snap and he said that he tried to bring her back but uh, it didn't work so um because of my batteries going low i don't know if the screen just got darker if it did, I am so sorry for that, but just stay with me here. But yeah, um, God, allergies, man. My eyes have been itching. Ah. <sighs> I gotta stop scratching. <sighs> but yeah, so they don't bring back Black Widow or Gamora. Instead, they do time travel and Nebula meets the past Gamora and sort of in a way brings her yeah they come back to the present in in the now time and when they bring back everyone back when everyone comes back including the star lord he meets the past gamora thinking that's the that's a uh, her his gamora but it's not and uh, she ends up kicking him in the balls. And um, then, like, Nebula comes and she's like, this is, and uh, Gamora's like, this is the one? Seriously? So Nebula must have told her that uh, he and her were a thing. And she stated, Nebula, your choices was either him or a tree. Uh, Groot. Ugh. <sighs> Kind of weird. Speaking of which, Groot. Groot comes back as a teen. Well, he's still a teenager. So I'm hoping that in in the third movie, he is an adult. Just like how he was in the first movie. And um, he calls Rocket. Rocket and Groot is, is the relationship between them. Between Rocket and the new Groot is kind of different from the first movie. In the first movie, they were best friends. In this one, it's more of a father-son thing because this Groot's not the same Groot as before. He's more of the... He's more like the son of the first Groot because he sprung from the... You get what I mean? He, he He's like the seed from the first Groot. So he's not really the same Groot. He doesn't have the same memories and stuff like that, and his personality's different. But he might, ch but it's probably because he's a, you know, he's a teenager. But he'll probably change as he gets older. He'll probably be the same as he was before. Um, but yeah, back with Gamora, that scene with her Nebula and Star Lord. That's the last time, well, not really the last time we see Gamora, but that's the last, like, interaction we see of them. And then after, like, Tony Stark's funeral, 
And and when the Guardians of the Galaxy board on the ship to take off with Thor, she's not with them. She wasn't with them even during the funeral. And um, I, I didn't get a close look at what he, um, Star-Lord was looking on the screen. It, she, he was looking at Gamora, but I, for, I didn't know what it said when he was on the ship. What he was like uh, scanning through. So um, that's kind of confusing. So I don't know if they're going to be stuck with that past Gamora. Probably. Since. I don't know. When, I don't know. It's kind of weird because now we have to start all over again. Because they're probably not going to bring her back. They're not. They're probably not. They can't. Because if they could, why couldn't they do the same thing with Black Widow, you know? So he's going to be stuck with that past. So we're going to have to go through the whole same process, the whole same love relationship between Star-Lord and Gamora all over again. I feel like that's going to be the third movie. Even though we haven't really... Um, I guess that could be its own movie, kind of. Because the past two movies weren't necessarily about Star-Lord and Gamora and their relationship. It was more just, that was more like a side thing. It hinted to it at some time during each movie. It was hinted. But then they straight up showed it in Infinity War that they were a thing. And I feel like we'll go more into that. The next movie where she, she's just going to have to fall in love with him all over again. And I guess that could be a good movie. But yeah, so if you enjoyed this reaction, like, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time, I'm going to try doing more Try Not To Laugh. I'm really in the mood of... Exar... 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 Wait, what? Exercising my... Uh, stomach chest the stomach muscles you know when you laugh you know you, you feel hard you know uh i like the challenge but like comment subscribe and share and until next time jesus and